Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I am just a casual racer and today we are in Automobilista 2 and Automobilista 2 has dropped a bombshell here kind of, I mean we knew it was coming but at the same time adding the Circuit de la Sarthe for the 24 hours of Le Mans is just really, really a cool addition. We got a bunch of new Gen 2 GT3 cars which are just like modified updated versions of the GT3 cars they've had and that's what I have a field of is the Gen 2 GT3 cars along with some GT4 and GT5 cars. Two laps around here, I don't know if we'll catch any of the traffic but nice field here, 32 cars in total, 12 cars in class. So, we'll be battling our way around Le Mans and see how we can do here in this quick two lap race cars are, they feel fantastic, I'll be honest, I have not driven on Mobilista 2 in a little bit, and it is, the update, starting to come together for me, and also I really like these cars here, um, I mean, I always love a Mercedes GT3 car, um, my go-to, this is definitely capturing, I don't know, the feel that I'm used to with these cars in a lot of games very well, or the feel when I like them in games. So, I will definitely be driving this car again. It's a low downforce version of this car, very fast in a straight line. Um, you know, there's not a ton of oversteer in this car, but you can still get the car to turn in with this low downforce configuration, which I am. Uh, the track, as always, let's just sing Reese's praises for the track. Detailing great, texture great, you know, accuracy appears to be spot on. So, really something that. They've knocked out of the park once again in terms of their track department. Best part about Riza, and once again, they've delivered. So, definitely enjoying this uh, doing a couple laps around here. I think the detailing looks quite nice. Um, AI race as well at this track, in my experience. But Le Mans is generally, I find to be pretty good generally for AI, just the layout. You know, it's chicanes, Long straightaways, it's not the most difficult. I mean, you get the Porsche S's, I suppose, but it's not the most difficult track to drive on, in my, my experience, or the AI. He's gonna go outside. I'm gonna go inside, take the curb. Open the sixth here. Put on the curb there. You can take the curbs quite aggressively in these cars, different than maybe ACC or iRacing, for example. On the brakes, maybe get up inside here, and a little bit loose. I really like the way this car. Let me tell you, I haven't driven any of the other cars yet, these GT3 cars, but this Mercedes feels really good. The, my favorite time when I was driving the sim the most was back when the, the GTE pack dropped a year and a half ago, or whenever that was. That was my the most I drove Automobilista two. This car in particular, just the feel of this, I'm beginning to feel like, especially like with the hyper cars now and things like that, which I'm going to do a separate video on, um, these things are, this game might be finally hitting its sweet spot. And it's really exciting too, because right with the story some studios, we have some projects that are coming to Automobilista 2. Obviously it takes a really long time to near a new game engine, so like everyone's like, are you still making stuff for Automobilista 2? Yes, yes we are. It just, we have to, any 3D model that we've made either has to be completely redone for the game or like with new models, we're making new ones. But those projects, one reason why they're taking so long to get to a set of Corsa is because of how long it takes to develop the mods. That was a nice move there by me. Oh, sweet. Tap on the rear from him. We get the position. We're up into third. One lap to go. I see first and second have pulled up quite a lead here. I don't know who will be in their draft. We'll have these opening corners. We'll have to be smart. I mean, this opening sequence here, this looks great. I don't know. There's something about this. I know the, uh, my opinion, right? I think Riza has gone a little bit too maybe cartoony with the coloring, the filtering for the colors, but it does look pretty good. It does look pretty good sometimes, especially depending on the track and how exactly they color things. I think it looks pretty nice. Even with the maybe 
a little too bright of colors. <laughs> And now we're on to the Mulsan, and we'll see. I think we might have some faint draft here, especially once we get up to speed. That might pull us in once we, once we get you know, fighting. Give me a toe. But yeah, I mean, this is gonna be. T I heard ten dollars. This is a. And I don't know exactly all it's gonna include. Maybe it's just gonna include them all. But um, in my opinion, as someone who I think this is one of those. You know, it's Triple Crown and Motorsport Racing. Fantastic venue overall. This is a must-have, I think. Maybe wait till you get on a discount if you want to save a few bucks. You know, you can wait six months or something. They'll probably have it for sure. Probably next Black Friday there'll be a sale. But generally, this is one that I think is worth getting for sure. We're going to move up into first. See if we can hang on here. I don't know if the AI is gonna dare a move around the outside. Doesn't appear they will. Leave. I've got the position now. Yep, and we're gonna. I think this should be a nice cruise home as long as I don't do something dumb. So, yeah, I uh, love the car. The car is amazing. Um, the new GT3 Gen 2 cars. I think they're just, at least this Mercedes is. Uh, the track, incredibly detailed, great road texture, AI races well around it, um, and, you know, AI is in large part track specific in most, or almost all racing sims, the best I know as a developer how that works. Um, they've done a nice job with it in this, this track. The section here looks quite good here with the trees and the way the Madness engine renders that. It'll be interesting, I, maybe I should do a comparison video, what do you think? Uh, go around Project Cars 2 and then maybe do a back and forth between this version of the track and Project Cars 2, do like a lap to lap comparison. Might be kind of cool to see the differences between how Slightly Mad Studios and Riza have approached a similar project of such a large scope, you know. I don't believe there have been that many drastic changes to uh, these titles. Alrighty. Pulling away here, got a nice little lead. For the S's. Yo. Oh, no. Not what we need to do. Not, I'm more used to the historic version of the track. <laughs> I dropped the, the 1970s or 50s version or whatever that's in uh, our Factor 2 and then um, set of Corsa. That's the version of the mine, no. And then also the vintage version in uh, Project Cars 2. I don't know this is that well because of it, but we didn't lose it at least completely. The double chicane here at the end. And that's a race. Reza did a great job with this track. Really cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm one that I have to recommend for sure. Hope you found this quick race helpful. Gave you a quick overview of the track. Uh, but most of all, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week.